must make every ball. All right, here we go. Welcome to Lights Out Streaming, brought to you by Jacksonville Roofing USA. We have a great match. This is Bobby G. Zini Hizzy coming straight out of Stroker's Billiards in Palm Harbor, Florida. we got a stupendous match lined up for you guys. Try to get somebody to commentate it for you guys. Uh, unfortunately, I've got to go and uh, play a match, so we're going to get this match started. We have Donnie Mills, Fargo rate 746, versus Mike DeLauder, Fargo rate 697. This is winner's bracket action, and you guys are fixing to uh, see a really good match right here. So you guys stay tuned, and uh, I'll see if I can get somebody to commentate it while I go in and uh, play my match. If not, hopefully somebody will jump on board. It's a good match here, guys. Trent and White tuning in. It's a good match between Donnie Mills and Mike D. <laughs> Two champions. Two of the best players in the tournament. He was playing for the corner there. It looked like the way the way he hit it. He hit a little hard. Good shot. Draw the back. Just a tad. Thank you. Plays it. Plays the six ball on the bottom left. Comes two rows up to seven. It's like he overdrew it just a tad, but he's fine. I think you play in the opposite pocket. <laughs> Shout out to Predator for making this event awesome. Nice Predator balls on the live stream table.
just like that, Donnie go up 1-0. Great shot by Donnie right there. Break my mic. A little tough shot here. Um, don't know if he plays safe. Goes for the combo. I'm sure he shoots the combo. Just comes two rails back out. Tough shot though. Oh, fortunate. Got good. I think he played shape for that in the side. He just hit it too soft. Didn't stroke it enough. He's still good. Wow, look at the spin coming off that rail. Come two rails back out for the six in the side. Just like that. Good shot. Got a little bit, a bit of a bigger angle than what he wanted there, but I think he just been off behind the nine and come two rails behind the seven. Should be good. Ooh, looks like he tried to use inside. He comes short and play it in the opposite pocket uh, or the bottom left. Keep ball. Got away from him a little bit there. His table's playing real slick, especially on the rails. Got to be careful with those. Got to hit it softer than what you really think. New felt. Looks like he has an angle where he can just come just like that. He spin it, see? That's what I'm saying by these rails, they they cat they catch spin. So you gotta And these rails really don't bounce off as hard as as hard as you expect. So that I, I wouldn't have played that shot on the seven. I would have played it for the other side but I would have went between the eight and the nine and played it in the bottom right pocket instead of come shooting it and playing it in the bottom left but he got a good safe right there good snooker as you will ooh got the corner good shot by Donnie See, this is a shot where I question myself what to do. I think he shoots it with inside and tries to get behind the nine. Oh, he cuts it. Wow. What a try. I think Donnie's shooting this, spinning in, running into the nine ball. Bring that nine ball back up the table.
making it f to go up 2-0. Might be cutting it, not banking it. What a shot. Great shot by Donnie. Going to lead it 2 0 on Mike Lauder. Oh, I need to mark this. There we go. Mastermind. I'm surprised Donnie's not doing the cut break. Looks like he's just hitting it dead on, dead on with a Q tip inside. Pushing out here. Mike might thin this one ball. Play it back here and go two rails and try to snug around by in the seven ball. Just like that. Great shot. Great shot by Mike Bellotta. Now Donnie, he's forced to kick it. Well, looks like he's forced to kick it two rails from here. I don't think he can get behind the nine. Past the nine is spinning enough. Unless he like jacks up and smash it like this. Good hit, wow. Got fortunate to miss the eight ball there. If he would have missed eight ball, he would have sold out. But uh, got a good roll. And my daughter's pulling out the jump cue here. Looks like Mike's gonna jump it and bank it, bank it and go bring his cue ball three rails back behind the three six. Just like that. I'll oh, see. He clicked the eight ball. Now Donnie's gonna have to put a real good stroke on this. He's gonna come right between the six eight gap right here. And get, get good on the two ball if he does this. Like uh, the only problem ball is getting on the three. He's following it. See, that's what I feel like. That's what gets you in trouble on these tips too, because they play tight. They play tighter than what they are. So if you use top and you try to slam it in there, I feel like it bobbles bobbles it more. Same shot by Mike Delauder. Looks like the one ball got away from him a little bit, but. Good shot by Donnie. He made sure to get his cue ball back up there. That's one thing he was focused on. Even if he didn't make it, he was focused on getting this cue ball back up there. Even if, even if he made, if he made it, he was good on the two. If he didn't, it didn't. It would lift him this. It would have left him a long shot. But Mike, he could see, he could see a gap, but still a great shot. Donnie 
He'll shoot in the same shot in the opposite pocket. He's gonna use it. He's gonna use top, top right, and bring it two rails back between the five and three. Wow. Spend it. Get you in trouble. Because it two rails and then it tries to make it. Oh, what a shot. Get out the hole. Wow. It's a crazy game, folks. It's a crazy game. Wow, I look away for two seconds and Donnie already hooked himself. It's wild. See what he can do with his jump cue. Trying to play the combo. Almost made the seven ball. Now this shot right here. He has to shoot this ball. He has to make sure he misses the side pocket. He has to come between the five and the six. Or the six in the pocket. See, he, he, he made sure to get between it, but he came on the wrong side of the six ball. But he's still good. Play the six ball corner. Center English. Cue ball straight back out. Just like that. Wow, rolled out a little bit more. He expected it. Scratch like five times. I like it. This is the tallest match. Hopefully, Mike Lauder can get on the board here. Be the chance to do it. Be a big momentum change. The tallest match of the tournament. Thank you. 
I don't know why Mike switched over the break. He had a decent, really good break la last time. He just had a tough combo shot. I don't, I don't see why he would switch it up like that, but I guess he was just, just feeling it. Great shot by Donnie. Wow, that's, that's unfortunate right there. I got to shoot this. Four ball, top English. Got to come between the pocket and the seven, behind the six ball, and play the five ball back in the side. Follow it two rails between the eight and the seven. He stunned it. See, I don't like that shot because you get a ch chance to hook yourself easily. Real easily. Instead of just using that extra little bit of stroke and coming two rails between the seven and eight, and then you're A-OK. -okay. A-OK. -okay. What? The water about to make it two two. Nice out. Thank your sponsors again, Predator. Thank you for the Predator cues, balls. Um, Jameson Cues, Lights Out Streaming. I think I believe Donnie spins this ball, clips edge of it, spins it two rails back behind the four or nine. Get behind it. Uh, looks like it leaked out a little bit behind the eight ball, but great attempt.
spray shot with Mike Delauder. Shoot this with bottom, bottom right. Come between the four and the eight. Come back out in the middle table. Just like that. Beautiful. Now, I, I believe this four ball goes, by the way. I was looking at it right now, so we'll find out. Like, yep. Punching it back out the center table again. Just stun it over. Great shot. Play, I, I played this great on this cell, so, but I think he should be fine. Good shot. No, it's just natural. Mike DeLauder to go up 3 2. The Battle of the Giants, folks. So where's the bracket at? <laughs> sure is. Right, so this is a really good break from Mike DeLauder. He could run this out and be up 4-2. It's a big game right here, folks. Big game. Looking at where you should get the cue ball next. Top top left English, spin around two rails, play the two weight combo. Great shot, great shot. See, he wanted to get a little bit of shot so where he could cut the two into the eight and bring his cue ball behind the seven and back up. Like that. Great shot. that a little too hard he might bank this ball actually bank it and stun it a little bit because the four ball because it doesn't go in the bo bottom right corner oh, he cuts it with inside and hits it wow beautiful beautiful shot Two rails never fails, folks. Look at that. Two rail king. This is testing the stroke right here. A little stop shot. Yeah. I couldn't find the stream either when I looked for it. It's not on there. Unless I'm just... What a mistake. 
mistake from Mike Delauder, folks. Wow. That was a huge game right there. Well, he sizes it up 3 3 now.
this is a very interesting matchup. Uh, it's a safety battle right now. Two, two of the top respectable pool players in Florida. Never get tired of watching these guys playing. The rail shot gets quite tricky here. Uh, looks like he's going to roll the cue ball. Soft touch, but huh. good safety. If it was me, I would have tried to play it, and that's what makes the difference between the players, you know. He made good decision playing safety on that shot. Good kick as well. This new felt is definitely challenging. You're going to take at least an hour to get used to it. Come to this place before because the kicks, the kicks are very different. It will mess up your position of play if you're not used to this new felt. They must have replaced the rails as well. I was here last year and the, 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 the pockets were not, you know, as accepting as, as used to be. Good stop shot right there. Oh boy. Gonna hit it firm, the cue ball hit the top rail, I guess. And come back down for the eight. Interesting choice of position of play, but it works out as well. Nice, nice touch. That was fearless, guys. That was fearless. Yeah. Have to commit to that shot. Well, and he sealed the deal in this game. 4 3, the lotter. This venue definitely gets more competitive than last year. The prize money is bigger, therefore attracting more high caliber players compared to last year. Myself, I'm just, you know, I'm just glad to be here to, to, to play and, you know, test myself against these top players. They're really, really good and really exciting. Highly recommended. This, this place is nice. Strokers at Palm Harbor. That was a tough shot. Just to make it, it wasn't hard, but to make the position of play, that's what got Mike there. Well, apparently he wasn't happy with that. Still, still a tough table to run out.
Don is still trying to look whether he has a chance to make the, the two ball on the top corner pockets on the right side. And I think you can see it. Doesn't look like he's setting up the cue ball for that play, though. No, he's going to go up the, the side rail, bounce one rail off. Very brave move. Wow, that's a good speed. I mean, I was struggling myself with the, with the table speed. That is definitely uh, determined and very committed shot. Very, oh shoot, oh boy. That's what I'm talking about, guys. The table slide, it doesn't take the spin as much. If it's a new fell, it would have pulled back up a little further and he would have had a shot on the three. I had that, that difficulty myself. Everybody has the same problem though. That's not an excuse, you know, but whoever it, be able to uh, adjust to the new felt faster definitely in advantageous situation or side pocket Holy snipe, look at that. Well, well, he can snooker Donnie behind the five. It's a pretty darn good shot still. Very nice, very nice. Not perfect, but definitely. <laughs> Ooh. This, we're going to check whether the four ball is frozen because if it's frozen, that means one of those balls have to contact the rail at least one time. Good call by Mike. That means it was for holy cow, guys. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm feeling the heat here. I'm feeling the heat that was pretty damn like, wow. Great kick shot. He's going to keep the cue ball in the middle of the table. Just keep the cue ball in the middle of the table. And hopefully it doesn't get too straight on the six. Looks quite straight though, but I don't think he will have a problem drawing it back. This new fell is easier to draw a shot as well. That's one good thing about it. Oh, but it hits the A. Oh, my Lord. This is getting more interesting. Huh. The speed control, guys, this shot. Not just to make it. After making the 7, he's going to have to keep the cue ball for the 8 ball. That's, a, there, that's what I'm talking about. That's a toughie. He's going to have to bite the bullet for this one. It's a do or die. There's no safety for this, just do or die. Yes. Oh boy, boy, that's a heartbreaking one. This is a hanger, but it's not a hanger for the nine ball. Nice, nice touch. That was a really difficult shot. To get to the nine was quite tricky. Right on. So now, okay, we, I gotta have to adjust the score here. I don't, I don't know how to adjust the score. Hang on, just a second.
Five for Mike DeLauder. Nice spread out. Uh, looking really good for him in this in this rack. Probably gonna try to play three on the side pocket on the left side. Row it softly, nick the nine a little bit probably. Oh no, he goes all around the world. Hey. He knows what he's doing. I couldn't really tell the angle from here, but uh, that was a good play. Oh, that was a tough shot. Missable by anybody, even the best of us. He was trying to hold a cue ball for the four, that's why. Cue ball on the rail. Cue ball on the rail. I think he's very nice stroke. He really committed to that stroke. That was a really difficult shot. Well, to me. <laughs> Good position to play. going to do two rails down perhaps even three rails he's going to hit it quite you know um, maybe undercut it a little bit extreme underspin on the right side yeah he's going to do three rails three rails baby nice Perfect. It's impossible to get the rack tight. You know, they're always going to be gaps. Breaking from this angle, that means he get good frozen balls on the left side. Yes, Lee, I did win. Well, it wasn't the wing ball, but hey, he made a ball. And the cue ball is still pretty. Okay, guys, just a reminder, we will be doing the Predator drawing here uh, so probably as soon as this match is finished. So as... Uh, if you have tickets for it, get them out. We will be uh, doing the drawing here momentarily. So uh, get your tickets handy. If you know any friends that's got tickets, let them know. We're fixing to be doing the drawing probably in the next uh, 20 minutes or, or so. All right. Well, thank you, B. Thank you for uh, giving me that little bit of commentary there while I was playing my match. I am back. Won my second round. Woohoo! Looking good so far. Sorry about that. They got the music turned up too loud and it booted me off of Facebook. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it doesn't do it again apologize for the inconvenience I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get the music blocked 
turn the mics down too low and then nobody can hear anything. That part really sucks because I like to hear balls clashing like everybody else. Anywho, do me a favor and uh, if you don't mind, take this minute to uh, go ahead and share it for me if you don't mind. What do you mean, Ronnie? I thought uh, everybody's been telling me that it looks really good. You shouldn't have any any video issues. I've got it. Oh, maybe get maybe we got more people in here. So yours is doing the same thing. After this match is over, I will uh, restart the stream and make some changes. And then I'll be back up as soon as this match is finished. Hopefully after that, I won't need to reboot anymore for the rest of the evening. All right, guys, bear with me. Let's get through this match. I don't want to cut it off just yet. Let's get through the match and I will... Uh, I will fine-tune it for the next match. All right, so we're looking at uh, Donnie Mills on the hill. First. Mike D to break. This is rocking the nine ball on the spot. Alternate break. Nine does not count in the bottom two pockets where they rack the balls at, but it does count everywhere else. We do play uh, next ball in rotation foul. So... Um, Mike D just made a really good break. Wide open shot, wide open table. And the first ball is always the hardest. And he just let Donnie Mills perfectly straight in to clean, uh, to clean the slate here. Mike D's a little upset with himself on that one. I would be too. He had the perfect opportunity to make a hill hill thriller here. And uh, I don't think Donnie Mills is going to let him back to the table. All right, just bounce it off the side rail. Oh, he wanted to get close to his ball. That was the only risk there. He's very fortunate, I think, to not hook himself on the nine ball. I know he wasn't planning on getting that far behind the nine, but anywho, he's got the perfect aim to go one rail back out to the center of the table or just draw it down. Either way, it's a personal preference on that shot. And we'll get back up table for the nine and what does he do did he really just do that wow did he really just do that i learned a new name for that shot actually a friend of mine in uh, sanford plays out of racks greg woodall he gregged that shot he gregged that shot he most certainly did all right mike d lays down a pretty good safety and uh donnie mills uh the only thing I don't like about that safety is Donnie Mills can uh, come back and put the cue ball behind the seven and send the six up table. It's going to take a lot of finesse for this shot, but Donnie can do it if anybody can do it. All right. He wasn't even going to try it. He's just playing for the convenient safety. And I don't know if I like leaving that kind of shot for Mike D who just got done. All right. Okay. I think Mike D's finally learned something. He's usually hit swing at that bank in a heartbeat. He acts like he wants to try to win this match. All right. Good safety battle going on here. Look like he's going to just cross bank the, the six to the end rail. No, he's all in on that ball. Well, there it goes. Yep. He didn't quite get there. It's okay. behind that seven ball or he's hitting bottom 
Maybe he's trying to slide the cue ball behind the nine and send this six ball up table. And that's exactly what he's doing. And uh, I think Mike D's going to make him pay for this. If Mike can hold uh, hold his nerves down, Mike's got a real chance here to to get heel heel thriller, y'all. Nice and smooth. Puts it in the hole. Puts it in the hole. He's got a nice shot. Uh, he's got a nice shot. It's not as bad as it looks, especially on the stream. He's got a. He's got a cut, but it's close enough to the pocket. He's not going to have a problem making this. His biggest problem is holding position for the nine. Speed is, speed, speed is good. There you go. Mike D, tie this ball game up. One nine ball down to go. Can he do it? In there like swimwear. We got a hill, hill thrill, y'all. Six, six. What a match. What a match. Your people, huh? What kind of people is that? <laughs> so you're always rooting for me then, aren't you? <laughs> is this yours? I have no idea who's that. Just now noticed it. Gave me a hand. It's cool. I know I need to go wash my hands. No, you don't. Put them on my neck. No, I need to go wash my hands. Go wash your hands. All right, folks, here we go. Hill, Hill, Thriller. Lights out streaming. Brought to you by Jacksonville Roofing USA. This is Bobby Jeezy and Heezy coming to you straight out of Stroker's Billiards, Palm Harbor, Florida. Jose Del Rio is the room owner. Super nice room owner. Super nice room. Can't, uh, can't say enough about this pool room. Probably one of the biggest uh, promoters in pool in, uh, in Florida altogether. There's a few of you out there. You know who you are. Jose Riel certainly one of those. If you haven't been to Strokers yet, you got to come. If you like playing pool, Strokers has got a nice shot here on the one. The two sixes are uh, very awkward, so I expect him to play some kind of safety here. Well... I don't think he knew what he was trying to do on that shot. Looked like he was trying to spin it two rails around the eight ball. And uh, obviously he hit, the ball, he hit the rail first instead of the ball. I just turned it back on. Yeah, we got 51 viewers at the moment. I'm gonna, I'm gonna restart it right after this match. So it doesn't really matter at, the, at this point. Uh, something's going on with it right now so yes we're live it's just kind of it's kind of well let me restart the stream it won't take long right after this match we're fixing the draw and see who's going to win this beautiful uh predator q wow Donnie wiped its feet on that one Ooh, the pressure's on they're feeling the heat can he complete five balls left on the table if he gets, uh, he needs a nice angle on this six ball. Oh, he hit it too good. He's got to be out here. One rail back to the center of the table. Just a hair below center with a touch of right. Not much right. Look like he's got a lot of right. Let's see here. And in the top, top pocket up there where the, uh, where that piece of chalk is on the left. Not where he's standing. Shouldn't have to go far after making this ball. Key ball's coming right back to him. And this should be over there. Should be over. Donnie Mills. In there like swimwear. Last ball on the table. And it goes down. Donnie Mills. Takes Mike D down. Mike D's still in the tournament. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and restart the stream. Give me about five minutes. We're going to come back on, and we're going to start the, um, start the Predator raffle. So give me about five minutes. And